And do you have any tips for aspiring barristers? So for those people that are looking to come to the bar, any tips in terms of um, uh, sort of career choices on the way up there or even tips for sort of applications and, and things like that? Yeah, so in terms of uh, the way to get to the bar, um, certainly, as hopefully my experience demonstrates, there are multiple routes. And actually, just a few days ago, we're, we're recording this on Sunday. And on the Friday, I was at the Coventry University Law Fair talking to students there. And one of the things that was quite surprising for me there, talking to students in primarily their second and their third years, was that they tended to think and they tended to have been told that when you finish your degree and you're looking for your next step in the law, you either become a solicitor or you become a barrister. And it's a very fixed path. Mm. You pick one or you pick the other, and then that's what you've decided for the rest of your life. And what my experience hopefully demonstrates is that you can actually jump between the two a little bit if you need to. So I think in terms of advice for getting to the bar, I would say try and be flexible. Don't see a change of plan as necessarily derailing your ultimate goal. And if you, for example, decide for a financial or, or other sort of job security reasons, for example, that you'd rather train as a solicitor rather than try and go to the self-employed bar straight away, that doesn't mean that you've given up on your dream of becoming a barrister. It just means that you might want to do something else for a few years and then do some other qualifications and come back. So I think that's the, the main tip I would give to people uh, as to how to get to the bar is just acknowledge there are lots of different ways of doing it. And if you don't go law degree, bar course, pupillage, that doesn't mean uh, that you won't get there in the end.